want to nourish people mentally and physically because I think we have so much potential as a society, as humanity. There's so much professionalism within being a dietitian and it's such a small field. It made me feel like I had to fit into their mold kind of and I didn't like that. And that's probably my favorite thing about being on OnlyFans. I get to be authentically myself. Yep. That's it, action. My real name's Marcy. My nickname is Mars. I had a sister who was four years older than me, but she passed away when she was 17. She wanted me to be happy and be myself. My sister's actually the main reason why I moved out to LA, because that, uh, that was always one of her dreams. I think especially seeing so many people in my life go through cancer and various health issues from diabetes to like just high blood pressure, has really impacted me to care about health and nutrition. It has always been really inspiring to me that we have that power, you know, to, to fuel our bodies and we really are what we eat. So OnlyFans is great because it gives me a platform to connect with other people. I'm working on creating segments right now about baking, different like nutrients. I feel like a lot of the times with diet culture and that sort of thing, people will restrict themselves or feel like they have to fit this certain perfect little box. I'm vegan, I'm vegetarian, I'm whatever. Like you don't have to fit a box. You have to find something that works for you and listen to your body. Not only of how you're eating, but how you're living. My customers feel good. I wanna make them feel heard and I want to make them comfortable. I really just make it a point to listen and ask them a lot of questions so I could do my best to give them the most accurate information, which is I would say a huge part of OnlyFans, a majority of the people use messaging to connect and build that community. I don't want the subscriber just to be interested in me. I want them to be able to take that back to themselves and use that to either self-reflect or grow. Creating this content helps me care for myself as well. You can't give from an empty vessel. Like, I don't want people to feel alone or lonely because I felt that way for too long. I've gone through depression and anxiety. So many people, we are just an autopilot. We go to our nine to five, we come home, cook dinner, go to bed, do it again. What I'm trying to do is just to get people to get out of that autopilot, to make that self-reflection. Because that little thing can make a big impact and change in their lives, even if it's just a spark. And I think that's what I'm trying to show through my brand. At the end of the day, it starts with you, yourself.